So in the last class, we have discussed about different types of orbit on the basis of inclination angle. Today, we are going to discuss about some other types of orbit, but not based on inclinations, but it is based on the position of sun. So before going to this typology, let us uh, discuss about certain concept that is solar day and what is sidereal day. So suppose uh, if you imagine that the sun is overhead right now in this position in day one. Okay. Now the earth will take a complete rotation in its axis and you will reach in this position because you are also rotating with the earth so you have uh, taken one complete rotation with the axis of the earth now as the earth rotates it also moves from this position to this position this is you can say day two now in this position the sun was overhead but in this position the sun will not be overhead as you have changed or the earth's position has been changed as compared to the sun's position. So the earth need to rotate some extra angle so that your position will be here. Then only the sun's rays will be overhead here. Is not it? So we have human have invented the watch and the time in such a way they have framed the this duration in such a way that when the sun is overhead in this position then in next day in this position the sun will be overhead so this this duration is framed in such a way the watch is framed in such a way that it it takes 24 hours So this is called the solar day. We may we 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 measure the these days and the, the time period in a in one day in solar day uh, in such a way that is convenient for us. Okay, we measure this in this way only. Okay, that is called solar day. And so solar day is measuring time according to the position of the sun in the sky. Our day is noon, sun over it to noon next day which takes 24 hours that is called solar day okay so this solar day has nothing to do with the rotation but when we talk about sidereal day is a time taken by the earth to rotate 360 degree so when we talk about this earth rotation from on its axis here also on its axis so he when the earth rotates on its axis and complete one rotation then it is called sidereal day and it is it takes 23 hours 56 minute and 4.019 second why because see we have invented our solar day in such a way that it takes 24 hours it has to the earth has to rotate some extra more distance here this much distance then only it become then the then the sun will be over here and it will have 24 hours as we have divided this time this duration into 24 hours now as it is 24 hours and it is obvious that the time taken by the earth to rotate 360 degree in its orbit is less is not it so that that period is 23 hours 56 minutes and 4.019 seconds which is less than 24 hours and that day is called sidereal day now uh, solar day is longer than the true rotation of the earth by about four minutes as we have discussed why it is longer than the what you call sidereal day but it over the course of day the earth moves about one degree along its orbit in a full orbit divided by 365.25 days in a year therefore from our perspective the sun moves about one degree from west to east with respect to the fixed star 
now as we know there is 360 degree in full orbit and uh, it will take around 365.25 days in uh, to complete this 360 degree so in one day so if we calculate this it will be around one degree okay one degree per day okay. so that is why over the course of day the earth moves about one degree along its orbit so if uh, therefore from our perspective from this perspective the sun moves about one degree from west to east with respect to the fixed star so this is our position earlier so in one day one so if we move here here this is the position though our sun will be see it is moving one degree from what west to east when it changes from x this position to this position okay so that is what called sidereal day and solar day now uh, let us talk about the types of satellite we are going to discuss as the height of the satellite increase the time for one revolution also increase so uh, if when we launch a satellite here at certain height so more the height it the satellite reads the more time it will take to complete one revolution now at a height of three five seven eight six kilometer from the ground the time period is equal to one sidereal day that is very important means the time taken by the earth to rotate in its axis is sidereal day so at this height the satellite will also take this much of time what do you call uh, 23 hours and 56 23 hours 56 minutes and 4.019 second to complete one complete revolutions so this type of satellite or this type of orbit is called geosynchronous orbit forget the satellite even that satellite will be called geosynchronous satellite which take almost same time with the time taken by the earth to complete one rotation on its axis now uh, that is called geosynchronous satellite okay now a special case of geosynchronous orbit which is circular in nature and whose inclination is zero inclination is zero means its orbital plan is in is matching with the equatorial plan here okay now in that case what will happen now in that case the satellite is also rotating at same speed as the earth rotating in its axis so that the satellite takes exactly same time as the to complete one rotation as the earth takes to complete one rotation it means what the ground suppose this is the ground track here so suppose you are looking at the satellite from here this point and this is our satellite position if you're looking at the satellite from this position as you and satellite are moving at same speed so what will happen suppose you are moving in a train suppose two persons are there so the train you are sitting in inside the train so your speed and your speed is also same is not it so both of them will look what stationary even though the train is moving in this direction but as you and your friend are in same speed both of them look at each other as stationary so similarly in that case if the satellite is rotating in equatorial plan and the speed 
or the period of satellite is one sidereal day, then the satellite will appear as stationary. Okay, just like it appears here in this example. So in that case, the satellite will appear stationary with respect to the Earth over equator. So this type of satellite will be called geostationary satellite. Okay. However, one more condition: the orbit in the the orbits in the same direction as the Earth's rotation. So Earth is rotating in this direction. So the satellite also need to move in this direction at the equatorial plane, not in this direction. Then only it will be called geostationary satellite. Okay. Then only it will be it will appear as stationary. Otherwise, if you are moving in this direction, satellite is moving in this direction, just like one train is moving in this direction and another train, if even in same speed moving in other direction, it doesn't look like stationary. Increase the velocity appears to increase. So communicating satellites are some of the examples of geostationary satellite. Now the next type of orbit is sun synchronous orbit. Now uh, before going to sun synchronous orbit, uh, let us discuss a little bit about polar orbit. So polar orbit usually travels uh, travel from pass from north to south. Satellites in a polar orbit do not have to pass the north and south pole precisely. As we have discussed earlier, so even a deviation within 20 to 30 degrees is still classed as a polar orbit. Polar orbits are a type of low Earth orbit as they are at low altitudes between 200 to 1000 km. Okay. Now, uh, the Sun synchronous orbit is a special type of polar orbits. Now, we are going to discuss about this. Now, what is uh, the problem with non-sun synchronous orbit? Suppose we have any. Now, uh, the sun, earth, line and orbital plane goes on changing as the earth moves around. So, suppose this is the sun and this is our earth. Okay. Now, sun lights are straight here. Now, this is the sun, earth, line. And suppose this is orbital plane polar. Okay. Now sun is moving. Uh, now now the earth is moving from this location to this location now. Now the sun earth line is in this direction. Now orbit is here. Okay. Now again it changes location. Now sun light angle is here. Now the orbit will be somewhere here this sun earth line see this line and this orbital plan here it changes here it become 90 degree maybe here it will come to another angle so this is a kind of problem see so uh, as the sun earth line and orbital plan goes on changing it will give varying solar in illumination over an area when the satellite revisited that area. So you can imagine like this. Suppose this he, sunlight is straight here and this is the sun art line and suppose this is the orbital plane. Okay. Now as the sun as the art moves, now the sunlight will be at that same time the sunlight will be here, is not in, here in this area. Earlier it was in this area. So as the, the earth moves down, at that same time, the sunlight will be straight here, is not it? Now when earlier, when sunlight was here, in this area, maybe, suppose, suppose a satellite is particularly rotating in this plane, so it has a good exposure of this area, okay? Means, there is a good solar illumination in this area, so you can take good photograph. Now, when at the same time, the time at which the satellite reaches in this position, but now the sunlight is straight here. In that case, we will have varying illumin solar illumination of the same area. Is not it? So what we have to do? So it means to have the same solar illumination, this rotation plan must rotate 
along with the Earth's rotation so that at the same time the satellite will have same exposure of the area at same time with same light is not it so if we we do not have that kind of orbit it will hindrance even our multi temporal study because we cannot compare because uh, we cannot compare the satellite images of same area at different time period at different what you call season because in different season this solar illumination will be different over that area at that same time so in that case what is the solution so we need to rotate to the exactly compensate for the movement of the earth as we have mentioned earlier is not it so uh, suppose again in this diagram suppose this is our orbital or this is our ground ground track now solar radiation is straight here now as the earth moves now solar radiation straight here at the same time so due to this rotation it it occurs like this now so we also need to rotate our act this what you call orbit slowly like this over time our axis or our orbit will also rotate so that it will have a constant solar illumination over that area is not it now we have to have the same angle between sun earth direction and the orbital plan okay in this diagram see this is the sun earth line and this orbital plane so see this orbit was rotating in this plane now slowly it is rotating and ultimately in this position it is rotating in this plane slowly it is changing and ultimately it is rotating in this plane in all these cases see the sun earth angle or the sun earth line and the rotating plane remain same so how it happens the oblate spheroid mass imbalance make the orbital plan rotate about the axis except in case of the exact polar orbit so if we have a satellite in near polar orbit so due to this mass imbalance because the satellite moves faster near equator and ultimately due to this effect the polar orbit suppose this is not full and these are the ground tracks so due to this earth what you call mass imbalance the axis will itself what do you call move or rotate in its axis like this okay over time that is why see here it seems like it is moving as the earth moves from this location or this position to this position even more than that the height of the satellite and angle of inclination is also very important here to be a sun synchronized satellite sun synchronized why it is called sun synchronized because the satellite always faces towards the what they call brighter side of the earth so it is about 817 km and the inclination angle is around 98.69 degrees see this one more than 90 degree so such satellite cross the equator at same local time every day okay this is the what they call uh, very important characteristics of sun synchronous satellite